Hey everybody, welcome back to Chemistry. So let's take a look at Achieve number five, question seven. So if I can roll up the slide. So it says as follows. A gooey balance is used to determine the magnetic susceptibility of a substance. A strong electromagnetic is placed next to the sample, which is on a balance. If the sample is paramagnetic, the mass reading of the balance will increase when the field is switched on. Based on their electron configurations, predict whether these elements are paramagnetic or diagmagnetic. And I think maybe the first one you're given is the carbon atom. So if I can reduce the slide. So all they really want you to do is to figure out whether an element which is neutral, whether it's gonna be a paramagnetic or diagmagnetic element. So that's actually pretty easy to do. All you have to do is write out the orbital notation for that neutral element and then examine to see if there are any unpaired electrons in it. So let me go ahead and do that. So you can look up carbon's location in the periodic table. It is atomic number six. So carbon here, the neutral atom has six electrons. And so let me go ahead and write out its orbital notation. So the first pair of electrons go into 1s. The next pair of electrons go into 2s. And then we have two more electrons. And so you know the next orbitals that are filled by electrons are 2p orbitals. And so we have one electron in one orbital and one electron in another. So you have to figure out from this notation whether the neutral carbon atom is diagmagnetic or paramagnetic. And so you have to recall the definition. So a paramagnetic atom will be one that will be attracted to the poles of a magnet because it has at least one unpaired electron as configuration. A diagmagnetic atom is one that will not be attracted to the poles of a magnet. In fact, it might even be repelled a little bit. And the reason why that's the case is because all its electrons in orbitals are found in pairs. So here, let's look at carbon's configuration. And you can see that not all of carbon's electrons are always found in pairs. If they were found in pairs always, then it would be a diagmagnetic atom. But you can see that the neutral carbon atom has two unpaired electrons. Because of that, it is a paramagnetic atom and will be attracted to the poles of a magnet. That's it. Thanks for listening.